I mean, look at the sun here. We've got a nice little sunset for you. I mean, a great day. Picture perfect. It's blue sky, some sunshine, no rain, no snow. Oh my goodness. None of that. Look at that beautiful color as that sun went down. Now let's take a look at 7 Super Doppler. It's quiet, but things are going to change shortly. Let's take a look in the temperature department. 64 degrees, a good day. We're supposed to be at 53 and overnight pretty mild. We'll continue to see that. In fact, you're seeing those mild temperatures right now. After the 11 o'clock hour, 52 degrees. Buffalo, look at you sitting pretty. And then everyone else in the 40s, except for Dun except for Jamestown, rather. At 50 and a consolation, 50 in Erie and 51 in Rochester. Let's take a look at what's going on in the next few hours. That's right, I said it was going to come to an end. We talked about that warm front and first weather. And you can see how those showers kind of bloomed ahead of that warm front, making its way through the area. And then, well, I'll show you what happens when we get to the seven days. But tonight, more increasing clouds. We've got some showers coming in for the pre-dawn hours, but mild with those temperatures in the 40s. Let's go to the Super 7 day where we give you the meat and potatoes of the forecast. In the morning, you're going to start off with some scattered showers. It's not going to be a washout for the day. You might mean by the afternoon, you're seeing some breaks in the clouds, lots of sunshine and dry time on hand. But here's the issue with that. It is going to make some daytime heating produce a more unstable atmosphere. I want you to pay attention to this little discrete style just north of Erie. Look what happens as it makes its way through our viewing area as it goes to just north of Warsaw, making its way to Leroy. You're seeing another one just north and west of Wellsville. You see how that shower gets a little more heavy. So this is definitely a thunderstorm here and it has the potential to have some heavier downpours and gusty winds. Now let's go through it again. You're going to see another round of some showers start to intensify as they make their way through the viewing area. So we'll call it scattered showers with ice isolated thunderstorms. The kick that could be with those heavier downpours and some gusty winds within that isolated thunderstorms. Now I have the wide view here to show you that you're not done with it on Wednesday. Those showers from Wednesday are going to translate into your Thursday morning. Here's the crux with Thursday. However, you're seeing those 60s, but you're going to see the 60s in the beginning of the day. And then the cold front I talked to you about in first weather, that's going to plow through. It's going to take those temperatures down to the 50s and even the 40s. And depending on the timing of that could bring those temperatures down even lower or time mid 40s. Friday Friday, good Friday, you're looking at the temperatures in the 50s, 40s to 50s on Saturday for Passover with some rain showers. Here's the deal with Saturday night going into Sunday. You see that 31 for that overnight low between Saturday and Sunday, and you've got those showers, so we could see some wintry showers translating to the beginning of Easter. You are tired. We are tired. I am tired of the weather.